Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I get pictures of my dogs and pretty much perfect all the time and I love this tree. It blooms every spring and it drops a lot of petals on the floor and I want to see if I can get some cute pictures of the dogs and with all the petals. And there's Gracie, she's ready! So you're going to need a dog, some treats, um, they should know like a sit stay or a down stay so they can hold it long enough for you to take a picture. And also a smartphone. Now I'm only used to the iPhone. I've only had this for about a year. The iPhone has a special live mode when you're taking photos. Um, and that's what I go through to edit any pictures of the dogs to maybe get their eye contact just right with the camera or what, whatever the goal is. I'm not sure if that live mode is on any other um, cell phone type. I'm sure it would be. I would think it would be like a basic function, but that is something like if you have an Android, you're going to have to kind of investigate and play around with your photo settings and see if you have that in there. Okay, so once you're all set, you have your dog and your treats. Get your cell phone and go to your camera mode. And so see right here, this little circle symbol thing, that's the live mode and that means that that is currently on. If it's off, it'll have a little slash through it. So if it has a slash through it, just push it and that will turn the live mode back on. And then from there, we will just take pictures as normal. So just take a ton of pictures, have fun with it, and then Later on, we will go through all the photos and we'll edit them and we'll see which ones came out the best that we want to keep. Okay, Miss Gracie is up first. Come here. Come here, let's get you up. Now it's Miss Bella's turn. Come here. Can Okay, Lily Bear. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, so I think I got some pretty decent pictures of them. I'm gonna go back in the house and look through all that, but first, I wanna try something different. I wanna try to see if this um, live setting will work good on like an action shot, like with the dogs jumping over the jump. Let's see if we can get anything cool with that. And with this, I'm gonna use Mr. Monkey here. He has a treat inside of him. <laughs> And so Lily is going to sit a few feet away from the jump on that side because I will be, she'll be facing the sunlight. Um, so I'll be like over here somewhere. Um, and I'm gonna drop the monkey over here. I'm gonna get situated and then I will say, get it. And she'll take the jump and grab this guy. So this is where a good sit stay really comes in handy. Okay, we're gonna try that one more time and I'm going to sit more off to the side because I think I was screwing her up. I think she was thinking she wasn't supposed to get the monkey with me right there on top of it. So 
Let's try it again. It's getting hot out here. I think we're going to take a look at these pictures in the house, in the cool. So a lot of times you might get a picture and you think, oh, that one wasn't that great. Let's just try again. But with live mode, you can hit edit. And then right down there again, there's your live mode button. Hit that. Now you have a whole bunch of frames you can go through. That's kind of cute. So I stop there, hit make key photo, and now that is the actual picture. And then what I like to do is click on these three little circles because these are just filters and I really like the vivid filter. And if it's too much, the camera's not really picking up on it, but it's like really green in person, you can adjust how much of the filter you can see down here. This one's not really showing up. Let's, let's find a better one. Here we go. See how that just goes away? So you can adjust it down there. And then she is a little off center, so I'm gonna crop this a little bit. And we'll just bring that up. We'll make it more square and hit done. And there's a cute picture of Gracie. Here's a cute one of Gracie. Let's see. I kind of like it just how it is, but you never know. It's hard to get a picture of Gracie with her ears up. She, uh, I don't know, she gets kind of shy around the camera. Yeah, I think we're just going to leave it. Gracie nailed that one on the first try. I'm just going to um, change the filter setting. You guys will see, I'll post some of these photos um, on our community tab and you'll see they, they came out a lot nicer than what my camera is picking up right now. Let's see what we got of Bella. There's one that's striking me. Oh, that's kind of cute. I kind of like how close that is. Hmm. See, I take a lot of photos, <laughs> as I'm sure all of you probably do too. I kind of like that one. I kind of like it just how it is though. Yeah, so with this one I'm just going to up the vibrancy and let's see. We'll take one of these photos that maybe doesn't look so great from the start. Let's see if we can get something good out of that one. Edit, hit that live button, and scroll through. You can almost always get some kind of workable picture out of this setting. That's cute. Hit main key photo. Once again, I'm just going to up the vibrance. So my Lily, she pretty much nailed this from the get-go. <laughs> we call this bug, but some people also call it pretty, which I think I'm going to change it to pretty because that, that just makes more sense. Um, but yeah, with this one, I mean, we can play around and look at the live mode again. She's looking up, she's looking at me. But I like it just how it was. Oh my god, so I'm just going to cancel that. So we also got that photo too, which is cute. 
but I like that one because she's got her tongue sticking out a little bit. I think it looks cute. <laughs> Here we go. That's a good one to, to take a look at. Oh. Right there. Boom. Got it. Let's take a look at our jumping photos. I'm not going to edit all of these because that just gets crazy. And you guys could see from the video, she was having a really hard time um, going after the toy with me right there. Here we go. She's approaching the jump. And she stopped. Okay, wait, so that is not the picture that I want. Let's go to the next one. Here we go. Okay, she's taken off. There we go. So you just go frame by frame until you get what you want. That's kind of cool. There we go. Let's do that one. I think that looks cool. Make key photo. Awesome. And then Bella, she did amazing with this. As soon as I said get it, she was on it getting that monkey. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> kind of like that one. And then, you know, I should have done this with lilies. I'll do it later. I'll just bring it in a little bit. Let's see what we got for Gracie. Is that it? Yeah. Dang! Look at her! Oh my gosh! Look at her jump! Gracie! Are you like part Tigger or something? Holy cow! That's insane! She's definitely jumping the highest out of all the dogs. She's got springs in her feet. Wow. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, I think I'm going to go with... I don't know. I think I'm just going to stick with this one. Because we all know I'm going to take more pictures again anyways one day. So, make key photo. Up the color. Dang, Grace. That's incredible. Alright, so that is it for their jumping photos. There's Lily's head-on one. I really want to get more pictures of them head-on like that. I just have to get better at it. But um, one really important thing to remember, you have to be on the regular photo mode right there. So, for the live to work. If you go onto portrait, which I really like portrait because it will um, it'll only focus on the thing in front of it and it will blur out the background, but the live mode doesn't work on portrait mode. So if you want to use portrait, you have to get the perfect picture just like that on the first try or take a million tries and hope one of them comes out. But um, that is the thing with portrait mode, so make sure you're always on just the regular photo mode. And once again, that circle symbol thing right there, that means live. It doesn't have the slash through it, so that means it is currently on. Alright, so that's it. That's my basic, extremely basic, little smartphone photography lesson for the day. To me, this is very common common functions to use but I know not everybody really uh, tries to edit a lot on their phone and it's so easy so 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 very easy so I hope this helps you guys and I will post um, more of their photos from today in our community tabs so you guys can actually see good um, pictures of how those came out 
and that is it we are signing out and we'll see you in the next video bye